Uh, Mr. Yarega is speaking, by the way, on our sister station, Adom FM. Let's go there quickly. No, do we do? Others are tabulating deals from the eastern region, whilst others are getting deals from central region. So you will see variations from all the media houses giving different results of the presidential. What it means is that if we are not careful and we continue to telecast or broadcast this kind of results, and then the EC comes with the authentic results and their variations, there's a tendency that this country can go into chaos. Because some people will not believe that their presidential candidate is losing, and others will not also believe that their presidential candidate has lost. Dr. Ayaga, for instance, um, our projections, that what we have, uh, we get our facts from our reporters, and not just any information, but what the EC officials there give us. What, yes, what has been announced and what is expected to be brought to Accra. And so that is what we use in doing our calculation. Though the EC will be the final person to declare, still the results that we are getting are from their reps in the various constituencies. Yes, there are results that some of them are coming from their various constituencies. But as we speak now, they have been overvoting in many of the constituencies. And the EC, that is why the EC cannot come out and give the results. Over voting that has been declared. Yes, that has been done in many of the constituencies. So because of that, what the EC is now doing is to do the manual verification. And the manual verification allows them to get access of all the pink sheet from the various constituencies down to Accra. They will compare their own. NDC will do the comparison. MPP equally will do their own comparison. So at the end of the day, the authentic result will be coming from the EC. What you or people are getting from the, uh, uh, what do you call it, from the constituencies or the, from the police stations might not actually reflect the true results coming from the EC. Because the EC have documentations and they also have polling stations and their quotes and the number of voters that are supposed to vote on that particular polling station. So when it happens that one police station has overvoted, they will correct it. You cannot correct it. You are only tabulating the results from what you hear, but not what it's on the ground. Now let's go back and look at what is happening right now. You and I know that in the last elections, mm -hmm. we had about 9 to 10 million voters who registered. And President Mahama was hovering, uh, President Mahama had about 5.4 million voters. And Nanado had about 5.2 million voters, and he won. Today, we have 15, 14.5 million voters in this country. If you look at the results coming from the various polling stations and for, uh, from the various media houses, nobody has gained, gathered up to 9 million voters. It's less than 9 million. It's about 8 point something. So that means that, one, Nanado is not leading to the end. He might get stranded at the end of the road because we are not getting the 15 million voters yet. That's number two. That means that more vote results will be coming in. Number three, that also means that the president, uh, Nanado, has not taken any vote from the president. Because if Nanado has taken votes from the president, his vote will shoot up to six million or seven million from the results. As we speak now, Nanado has less than five million votes or five million votes. So that means he's still maintaining his momentum within the last elections and this time. So he has not increased his vote anywhere, but he's still maintaining his uh, uh, voter turnout within the NPP uh, jurisdiction. Now, the President Mahama is holding a front of about, according to your tabulation, not according to EC, okay. according to the media houses and their tabulations. President Mahama is around 4.5 million. Mm -hmm. That means that he has also not hit his last time election, which he had 5.4. Sure. Given the fact that all is true, what is happening is true, that means that we still have a long way to go because we are still waiting for about 7 million voters to come out with their results. Okay. Dr. Yaga, I know you just came from the president. Uh, we want to know the mood. Uh, you are in white. The president also addressed supporters. Uh, he was also in white. Um, why the white? Oh, victory, of course. Victory for Ghana, victory for the uh, president of the Republic of Ghana. Is that what he told you? That is what I see. I have campaigned for the president to become, the, to continue his tenure. That's the JM Tuasso. I've campaigned for him, and I believe that he's going to maintain. Look, uh, let us not deceive ourselves. Let us not think that uh, nothing is happening. This is a gentleman. He believes in Ghana. He doesn't want to ask his people to go to the street and start jubilating. He wants to listen to what the EC 
will say, and he's waiting patiently, patiently for that. And he believes, we all, that he's going to win the election. If not even a one touch, but there will be a second round. And this, this, this second round, you had, I think, the fourth person telling me there can be a second round. What information do you have? What figures do you have contrary to the ones that uh, our reporters are giving us and EC officials are giving us from the regions? The ofi EC official has not given you anything. You have picked what you want to pick. All the EC official has given you is the parliamentary elections, those who have won. No, but they, 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 they do the, declare the, the presidential as well. Yes, they will give you the note, but whether it is the right one or not will be determined by the uh, coalition center because they have the authenticated documents of whether it's an overvoting or undervoting. Why do you think there can be a, a, another voting, a mm -hmm. runoff? Why do I think there can be a runoff? Because if anybody, you see, we have 50 million voters. Don't forget, five plus or minus five, if we are not eating, even heating the total of 15 million voters, and we are hitting around, let's say, 10, 11, 12 million voters, then that means that we are not able to, nobody will be able to get the 50 plus one. It's going to be difficult because they will still be sharing that their, uh, what do you call, their normal voters in their jurisdiction. Now, what they are supposed to get is one. The new voters, did they vote or not? Because if we are saying they didn't vote, that means that we are not going to get the actual figure until the EC comes out with their proper verification and give out who is winning or who is not winning. But my problem here is that the media houses have taken the lead and they've taken a serious lead in the wrong direction. That we've always done, uh, we did that last four years, we did our projections. In fact, it is something that we do and we've never gotten it wrong. So what makes it different this time? The last time you got it wrong. No. Because the last time Nanado was leading the last election, you know, you've forgotten. You got it wrong. Don't say you got it right. And in any case, the media are not supposed to give the results to the public. The media are supposed to get the results from EC and then make the and then they can give it out. Yes, EC has reps in the various yeah, conferences, and we get EC it from them. not giving the actual figure of which party is leading or which party is not leading. I listened to the chairperson three hours ago, and all she said that they have tabulated. 210 constituencies, and they are yet to receive another 65. And right now, as they are doing, they are, they are sorting out the, fee, the, the verification and seeing which figures are right or wrong. They are not just adding them. They are not doing that. Well, with the EC's figures, uh, so uh, calculation didn't give us the right impression she painted because the number that she was saying she had received and the uh, constituencies she mentioned that were yet to get in, when you add them, uh, it was more than the constituents, the number of constituencies she said uh, she was declaring. And so that is also another uh, area that we'll be looking at, getting answers even when she comes to address us again. But the final point is, is the president saying he has won from when, when you go to his house at Cantonment? No, we, we just spoke about other issues, not just necessarily whether he's winning or he's not winning. He says all of us will stay calm and let's, let's wait for the EC to come out with their verdict. And whatever the EC comes out with, he has a precedent, he will accept it. Whether he wins or he doesn't, he will accept it. This is somebody who believes in the laws and the institutions of our country. He didn't say that if the EC comes out and he doesn't win, he's going to go to court, like what happened in 2012. He didn't say that. And for him, it's not a do or die thing. This is a gentleman of our nation. He believes in peace. He believes in unity. He believes that this country should move on. He's worked for this country for very long. He's put his passion, his, his image, everything in this country to make sure that this country goes on. He's put a lot of infrastructure which he wants to build on. But the fear here is that if in case, let's put it away, in case the president doesn't win, then we're going to have two presidents sitting and seven one term. And that's going to be disastrous for our country. That's going to be the worst time for our country. President Mahama, who has come in, he's built, he's done a lot of work, he's done a lot of hospitals, clinics, and many, and many hospitals, uh, what do you call it, schools and other things. Then he goes out of office. Then Nana comes and says, this is the achievement of President Mahama. I am not ready to build on that. Then he leaves it. Then he also starts his own. Four years later, Nana will go because Nana is tired. Nana is 72 years old. Nana cannot go beyond 76. 
So that, that definitely after 76, the MPP will have to bring a new candidate. And if that candidate come, is coming to face me squarely, and there is no way any of their candidates can beat me after Nana. Dr. Hassan, I thank you very much for having us uh, in your house. And uh, your final words to supporters. I know now um, your supporters have joined the NDC supporters. I don't know if that is the case. My, my, my final word is not just to the support, it's to the media houses. Please, all the media houses, you stop telecasting the presidential results until we hear from the EC. Because what we are doing as media houses... But that we've please, done let me, and let me, let for me, let me, let me at our mills... Let me for, okay. Let me learn so that the, me, the, the viewers will understand. Okay. What it means is that if the EC comes with a different variation and explain why they think that A, B, C, and D is not right. You cannot go back and convince the people. Many illiterates are in the system. They will get angry and they can spark violence. And all we are saying, concentrate on the parliamentary candidate. If you are done, get sources from the media, and from the EC, and use that one. Stop tabulating your own results. Because don't forget, you, for instance, from uh, Adum TV, the, the constituencies you are going to get their figures and tablet is not the same Metro TV is going to get and tablet. Metro TV might be getting from East and Central region and Upper East. And then Adum, F, Adum TV can be getting from Western, uh, Northern, and, and then uh, Ashanti. So you see that it will vary. And all we are saying is that for the peace of this nation, you and I have a stake in building this country and promoting peace and sustaining peace. It is our duty to hold on until the EC comes out with a verdict. If the EC comes out and says, President Mahama is president, we go on. If he says, Nana. Okay, that is Mr. Hassan Ayariga, flag bearer of the APC, who later. Uh, declared his allegiance and support for the NDC. Obviously not happy with the projections of, uh, of the media.